Hello, it's Jerry Jenkins. Uh, I just wanted to cover a simple uh, library I found for Python. Uh, I've been working with um, drawing SVG paths, which are really useful on the web, uh, but I had trouble finding out how to do them in Python. So there's a library called SVG Path, and I'll go to the uh, website for it here. Uh, it's a SVG Path 3.0, and you can import it with pip. Um, in version 3 or version 2.7. Um, it draws lines, arcs, cubic beziers, uh, quadratic beziers, and also eclipses. Ellipses, I mean. And you can just give it a, it has a bunch of different uh, ways you can use it, but you can just define a path, for the, for just exactly how it shows up on a web page, and you can draw it that way by calling the point method. So let's go back to my code and I'll step through it. Uh, so we have to just import uh, install SVG path and PY game. And I'm going to use these. Um, so here's the actual path. Now to design this path I used Inkscape. So in Inkscape you can design a path using the uh, path tool and combine all the elements. And then in the uh, data for the path up here you can get the D which has the path in it, so you just copy this directly into your Python program. You can also use Illustrator and there's online things to design uh, SVG paths. So once you've imported the path using the library, uh, so what I've done is imported all the uh, uh, different methods in the library and we're using parse path. So you just give it that string and say parse path, that creates a path object and then later down here we're going to get path.point which you give it a number between 0 and 1 and it gives you a point on the path. Now points in this SVG library come back to you as complex numbers in Python. So just to show you a little bit about Python complex numbers. So a complex number is something where you say a number like 4.5 uh, plus 10j so this is the real part and the imaginary part. So in this library, this would be the x value and that would be the y value. Now when you're in Python, you can get the real part separately by this property, and you can get the imaginary part by this property. So that's how you pull out the x and y values from the points uh, returned from the library. So I have uh, a loop here you can look at, but I just use a list comprehension here which is much shorter, so I give you both examples. So for the range from 0 to n plus 1, I take i and divide it by n, which is going to give me 100 points, uh, ranging from 0 to 1. So what this is going to range through. So it's going to look up the points on this curve and return that. So then it's going to return that as p. And then here it's going to, uh, in the outer comprehension, I'm going to get the x and y values. So this will create a list of x and y values. And then we're just going to start up PY game. So I initialize it. I set the display window size. I fill the uh, background surface with white. Uh, and then I call AA lines, which will draw all the lines. So here's the points. The faults is to say you don't close the loop when you're drawing and I'll call it, uh, show it in blue. And then finally, this, uh, this copies the surface that I drew on to the actual display, and this loop waits for me to hit the Quit button. So let me go ahead and run it. And there you see. And quickly, I'll show you it matches exactly the curve that I drew in uh, Inkscape. So uh, if you need to draw uh, SVG paths or you would like to play with it. It's an easy way to do it. I'll be coming along with two other videos of how to draw these in uh, TK, TK Enter and in, um, in Turtle Graphics which are the two other graphic libraries that are easily uh, available in Python. And so hope you enjoy this. Uh, please uh, if you want the code Look at the description of the video. We'll have a link to the code as in the uh, GitHub area. And also please subscribe to my videos.